Greetings everybody. So today I'm on my jollies and I'm in Blyneye Festiniog in North Wales. And look at that beautiful landscape there, the rugged hills. Um, yes, so Blyneye Festiniog is just up there, um, about a mile away. And it's, um, yes, it's, it's a, a mining town. It's one of the best preserved mining towns in the country, if not in Europe. Um, and they still mine there. But the landscape is just one complete, it's just like one massive mine and it's, it's, it's wonderful. So what I'm going to look at today is several little sites uh, that might be interesting about slate mining basically. This is all slate mining. So there's a few different sites um, and one is going to be a tunnel. Um, and yeah, and there might be another one as well. So without further ado, let's go look for this tunnel, um, which may or may not be there anymore. <laughs> So this is where we are today in the heart of North Wales, gorgeous mountainous landscape. Blynau Festiniog is actually a big hole in the middle of Snowdonia National Park, not included in the park because it's still used for quarrying and mining. From high up you can also see that it's not exactly a picture of natural beauty. The entire area effectively a large human made landscape. This map is from about 1900 and the railway here is the old mining line running from the quarries down to the coast, which is today a heritage railway. Now this is before the reservoir was built and you can see the old line still in use. Where the line is today on the left was the course of an old tramway before the tunnel was cut. Now the tunnel opened in 1842 and closed for good in the 1960s with the coming of the reservoir. The railway had to deviate to the west meaning a new tunnel and this nice spiral formation was built to raise the line a little higher up the hillside. It's the only spiral on a public railway in Britain. Right, so this is whereabouts I am. So this is the Festiniog Railway, uh, which is a historic railway. It's still running. Um, it, was, it was built to take uh, slate from the quarries, from the mines up here, um, all the way down to the sea at Port Maddock. Um, and it still runs today, but it's for tourists, it's for passengers, and it's nice. It's, it's a nice little train. Hopefully one will come past as I speak. No, that's not going to happen. Anyway, um, this is a power station. So <laughs> over there is the, the Tani Grisau. I think I'm saying that right, maybe. Um, reservoir runs like that. And that was flooded for this power station, um, which is here. We still you can hear it, it's still running. So what I'm going to do, I actually want to go down to the bottom end of the reservoir and look for a tunnel um, which was built before the reservoir was flooded and was the original tunnel for the railway line. So here we go, I've only been walking about five minutes um, and this you can see. So the, the, the line, the Festinio Railway runs up there, just where them trees kind of are along there and then drops down that kind of valley there. Well, originally it didn't do that. Originally it came down here, across what looks like a bit of a causeway there. And at the end there's the original tunnel it went through to get on the other side of that hill. Um, they had to build a second tunnel uh, because this reservoir was being built and this tunnel was in the way. So it looks a bit flooded down there. I'm gonna see if we can get down there and see the end of that tunnel. It is plugged, it is blocked off for obvious reasons. Otherwise it'd just be a big plug hole for the reservoir and that's no good to anyone. But yes, I'm going to see if we can get to the entrance, see if we can see it. Um, and then we'll go try and find the other side. Uh, right, okay. Um, here we are and it's uh, flooded. Um, there's a gate on there. It's, it's completely flooded, the old track bed and there's no way I'm getting down there um, without swimming. Uh, so yeah, it's a bit of a shame because it's not rained very much recently. Um, but yeah, not had a drought either, so. Well. Speaking of rain, it's just started raining. Brilliant. Um, yeah, so. You can see under there there's a gate on on the um on the tunnel. It's uh so maybe this isn't the plugged end. I thought it was the plugged end. Maybe it is a bit a few meters in. 
Um, but yes, it's quite deep under there. That, well, the water's quite deep. I mean, it's probably about waist height. Um, and I'm balancing quite on the edge of some rocks at the moment, so I might be able to test that out in person. Um, uh, so yeah, it's a bit of a shame. I don't think I was going to go through there anyway. I was just I just wanted to have a look. You can see the size of the thing though. It's, it's quite a small tunnel for a train, and that's because the Festinog Railway was a mining train, and it didn't have to be a big locomotive. It was just a little mining train. Um, and at first, its first incarnation, it was. Um, it was taken down the valley by gravity and brought back up from the sea by horses. So this was before steam engines. Um, so yeah, it didn't have to be that big. You can just see it's really not. Um, let's go see if we can find the other end. I don't know if we can. Um, let's do it before I get too wet. See, what's great about mines is that um, there's so many remains of mines in Britain that uh, it's just kind of unbelievable. Um, and of course, mines are like when it comes to like industrialization, industrial revolution, the glamorous stuff is canals and railways and mills and factories and that type of thing. But it all starts with mines because to power all those things, you had to have an increased production of coal, etc., etc. And so, mining is just the root of. of the industrial revolution and um there was loads of it in britain coal slate um tin blah 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 and the remains of mines are just scattered all over the country and most of them are quite accessible as well they're not that glamorous they're not much to look at some of them but they're all over the place and that's that's what's exciting about mines and, and mining history as um it's quite boring as it sounds um just finding some in a landscape like this in a, a wild rugged landscape it's quite exciting <laughs> take it from me <laughs> so at this point you can see the line there um, actually comes through a tunnel so the new tunnel they cut a new tunnel obviously when they got rid of the old one and it's just that you can't see it I can't see it without getting on the line itself it's only a short tunnel as well it's not that impressive but it's just beyond these trees and it runs that way down the valley but originally the first tunnel they cut was just over here um, and it would have taken that line. So I'm going to try and find a way. Right, so here it is, and in typical fashion, it's all flooded. Um, so there's a bit of a puddle there that gives it away. Um, but I've had a look, and it looks kind of soggy and flooded. I'm going to try and get down there, just for funsies, because I'm here already anyway. Um, but you can see it's all overgrown as well with gorse, which is the worst of all living organisms, and uh, pretty much every other prickly plant you can think of. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll try and get down, but I don't think it's going to happen. Annoyingly though, a train just went past um, and just as I left the line as well, it would have looked beautiful coming right next to me on the path I was on. Um, you can kind of hear it in the distance. You can hear thunder in the distance and it's, it's getting more frequent and uh, a little bit louder. So yeah, uh, might rain soon and I might not see that train again. Um, let's just see this bloody tunnel, shall we? Come on. Right, so the bad news is I can't get down there. You can't really tell from here, but it's, if I crane my neck, it's all flooded down there. It's probably like um, just above the knee height. And uh, I do like doing these videos, but I'm not in the mood for doing that today. Plus, I don't know if we could get out as well. It's quite a drop. Um, so anyway, yes. The good news is I can see the tunnel portal better from where I am now. There it is. And it's a lot bigger than the other one. Um, and more good news is that you can't see any, I can't see anything through there. It's all kind of dark. So there's potential for further exploration. Unfortunately, I've just come at the wrong time. It's too wet. I'd rather come, be better coming in a drought or something. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that is it. 
sorry to disappoint but that is what i came to show you so what i'm going to do now um is go on to the next place which is just up the road hopefully i'll catch a train on the way going back not literally catch it but see one on the way back and um we'll go look at um a mine on the hillside and see what we can find there So I've come to one of the stations on the Festinjog Railway um, and typically the engine that I saw, the train that I saw, is not coming back apparently. Um, I mean it must do at some point but not while I'm here, I've been here quite a while. Um, so I'm going to leave now, very very deeply disappointed not to have seen it up close. Um, and I'm going to go to the next place now, which is up there. So that um, part of the quarry up there, the slate quarry, you see that incline going up the hill? There's a tunnel at the top of that um, and I quite fancy checking it out. Probably can't get in there um, or at least not very far. I think it's worth checking out. Should we go? Let's go. And of course typically about five minutes after I'd left the station the train turned up which is what usually happens to me at stations anyway. This little engine is the Meredin Emrys named after a Welsh poet long associated with semi-mythical figure of Merlin of Arthurian legend. You can see this is a different kind of engine, known as a double fairly, and it's actually the oldest of its type operating on the line today. Right, so about halfway up now, and we're at the bottom of the incline, the stone incline, you can see. It's quite an angle, it's quite an angle now, I guess. Um, so yeah, uh, first obstacle is to get over this wall, and then climb that angle all the way to the top. Uh, whew, yes. It's times like this I wish I had a drone because <laughs> I could just stay here send the drone up have a look at the tunnel for me um, but yeah I need a rest um, nearly there though now it's very steep it's a lot steeper than it looks and it looks pretty steep so everything which was taken out of the mine up here at the quarry sorry it's a quarry not a mine was cable hauled up and down. You can imagine the, the steepness of this angle. The effort, the amount of effort to control that. Um, yeah, that's why like, that's why mines drove a lot of early innovation because you needed the mechanics to, the mechanical devices to work a mine and to make it um, highly productive. But yes, I'm gonna sit here for a bit and think about mines. Um, and catch my breath. Um, okay, so the incline continues through this little tunnel, through this little crane. Um, it's, it's quite steep, you, you won't come out on camera, but there's a bit of a cliff in the middle of it. Um, so I might not be able to get to the top of that, but I can tell you it's a very fine tunnel. It's a very nice, <laughs> exciting tunnel. It's very windy, as you can probably tell. Um, but yeah. It's super windy now. Um, the angle actually gets steeper the higher up you go, you can see now. I don't know if that comes out, but you can't see down the valley anymore because the angle just changed. Super windy, I'm nearly at the top. <sighs> Look at this, so you can, this is the winding mechanism for the cable. Um, oh, that's just wonderful, beautiful, look at that, the turning wheel for it, it's still still in place, how amazing, it's like some type of Lord of the Rings this, and, uh, <laughs> and there's more down here, that looks um, like uh, it was a uh, uh, powered, like it, it was an engine or something, I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking at to be honest with you. So here you can actually see on the ground the rails which would have taken the wagons of slate towards the tunnel to be taken down the incline. The rails there are still in place, that's amazing. The quarry at the back is only relatively small compared to its neighbours, but has some excellent ruins to explore of a few old quarry buildings, where up to a hundred quarrymen would have worked long, arduous hours extracting slate from underground adits and breaking it down in the mill up here. 
Like most quarries and mines in Britain, there's actually very little written or photographic history about this one. But I can tell you that it closed in 1946, when its owner passed away. So yeah, these buildings, especially these bigger ones, there's two bigger buildings here next to each other. They would have been where the slate was worked, where the kind of the, the raw slate was cut down, made more manageable. Uh, yeah, love it. What happened to the roof? <laughs> So this is immense. This is a, this is a proper mine, I think. Um, I've, I've just followed that through there, and it's, it's quite a long, dark tunnel. There's no natural light in there anymore, and then it splits into two. And one's just this perilously dark tunnel. It gets really small, um, and then on the other one is kind of like a, a huge chamber, bigger than this, really, bigger than this chamber. But it's all completely pitch pitch black, um, <laughs> and even I'm even I'm not stupid enough. Uh, just to keep walking through a mountain on my own with um, a tiny little torch. So I'm going to leave it here, I think. I was looking at it thinking, yeah, this is where people go to die. Um, I'm really chuffed that this little incline with a little tunnel at the top that's off from the bottom of the hill revealed this proper, proper mine. And people have gone down there. You can see footprints. You can see, you know, it's, it's a worn path and stuff, but not for me, not today, not on my own. Anyway, let's get out of here before uh, we get eaten. So there you go, two gems of the Blind Eye Fistinyog slate mining industry, an old railway tunnel, and a mine, an actual mine, an actual mine, um, which goes on for a long, 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 long time. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. It's quite interesting for me actually to explore that. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Take care of yourself. Bye for now.